So, last word about the page is a group page. So I can post like PDF files with the standings. I can't do that on short screen. I wish I would have known that in the beginning and I just would have started. I can, but it's got so much stuff on there. I might just start posting on the way. Hey Jill, good morning. So we just started streaming here and Bob's Barbershop is winning two, no, sorry, it's two to two. Games are to 14 points. We're on court nine here at the Wycliffe I and A Club. Court nine is the furthest away from the, uh, the scorer's table. They have nine courts side by side. Really, really nice setup, great pavilion. They got tents in the back. We have one of those spots. It's early Saturday morning, a lot of ladies division games being played and they just started uh, what's called the open division. And Bob's Barbershop is here on Court 9 against a team from Toronto. Uh, the lady who just rolled that point, her name's Valerie. She played at our Short Street Club in a two-person tournament back in the summer. It's called Extreme Bocce. That's the name of their club in Toronto. There's two reds, so that makes it 4-2. to two. Sorry. In, no, you're good. 4-2 to two in favor of red. And what I'm going to do is just go back and forth here. Games in the open division are to 14 points. Gives Bob's Barbershop the last two balls of the frame. They're up four to two. Games are to 14 points. The 
this looks like it's going to be the second point. Yep, good point by Nick. This looks good also. Excellent. So there's three. So that makes the score seven to two. Seven to two in favor of uh, Bob's Barbershop. That's before this frame. So they got three, seven to two. Take that green, get two. All right, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna roll for a point. Yeah, they got a ball advantage. And this would be, this would be in over here. They're thinking about what to do here. Oh, they're just gonna take the point. And he did. Good job there by Bob. So now Green is using their last ball. Red has one ball back. That makes it seven to three in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Games are to 14 points. Every. I'm glad you saw that. Different vantage point this time. Good shot there by Joe.
Red is in. Great shot. I think red's in. I think red is in. You got it, Bobby? So the ball count right now is two and two. Two and two, but Red has the ball advantage. I think they're going to shoot it hard into the corner and see what happens. And here comes the shot. Didn't help. Oh, maybe. No, still red. Now Red has a two ball advantage, which is really gonna be helpful in this situation. It's the tough vantage point being in the corner. Looks like I'm gonna walk around quickly before the next shot. As I mentioned, Bob's Barbershop and Extreme Bocce, they are playing on court number nine. There's only nine courts here. Game number 83. Never mind game 83. Looks like he's getting game number 10, ready to shoot over on court nine. Game number 10, Here comes the shot. Didn't do anything. It's going to be hard to get more points though for us. Discussion in this corner. This frame has been about 15 minutes long so far. It's going to be really hard to get more, but they're going to try something. Camera's picking up the fence. 
I'll go back to where I was. Still one red. I think they're just gonna take the frame. They're gonna eat it. Yep. They're gonna eat it, and now it is eight to three. Eight to three in favor of Lockport. Tough to score multiple points too. All right, score is eight to three in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Here's a good start by Jeff. Smooth shot. Nick's been pointing great this game, right on top. I think he did it again. Yep, 12 inches away. Really good shot there. So green is sitting with two points in. Red has two balls on the backboard. Red needs to be careful here. Hopefully Bobby can drop one in. Looks good. Sit down, sit down. That's a perfect ball. Perfect ball by Bob. Protects against the big frame for green. birthday going on right here. Julie's mom's birthday is today. There's the <laughs> oh, happy birthday. There's Belinda. <laughs> Very nice. Nice happy birthday message to Julie's mom. Alright, so Red has the last ball to try to get a point here.
Got a chance for two here, actually. Chance for two. Little early. No? All right. We got one. Good shot by Joe. That makes it nine to three in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Nine to three, Bob's Barbershop over Extreme Bocce from Toronto. Games are to 14. Good start here by Jeff. Good point. Nine to three in favor of Bob's Barbershop. going to have the last, well they will have the last two balls. Val's going to roll in, alright, she got the point, now Red is going to throw their last ball, and then Green will have the last two. Nine to three right now in favor of Bob's Barbershop. That's a good ball by Nick. All right, green with the last two. Ooh. That was a good break for red. That was a big break for red right there. Green went from probably three to probably only one. Here comes the shot. There's about a three foot space. And they got it. Red will gladly give up one on that one. Nine to four in favor of Bob's Barbershop. That was a good break there, Bobby. Right there, they're going to give up. Score is 9 to 4 in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Games are to 14 points. That's a good ball by Jeff. <laughs> Ladies division, game number 11. On court number one, Franklin and seven Hamlets. Game number 11, Ladies division, Franklin Hotel, seven Hamlets. Court number one, please.
Okay, it's shaping up like a good red, red frame here. Um, Green has shot two balls already. Ball advantage is everything. And they got a two ball advantage, red does. Red with the last three balls. Green has one more ball. Red will have the last three. This is a big frame for red. They can create some real separation here. That green point right now is about three feet away, so that's pretty beatable. Let's see what Val can do. She's got a good point. It's about 20 inches away. That's their close one. 20 inches. Red with the last three. This is a good point. All right, there's two reds. Good ball by Nick. Okay, they're sitting with 11 right now. And Bobby comes in for three. That's three. I believe that's three. So that should be 12. Yeah, that's three. That should be 12 to four. Yep. 12 to four in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Games are to 14. Big, big frame. Good shot by Joe. He's got a good point in there. It's only about 15 inches away. But Val says, I'll beat that. About eight inches.
so green is in. green right now with one ball to go. Good frame by green. Okay. 12 to 6. Twelve to six after that frame. Games are to fourteen points. Green is in. Score is 12 to 6 in favor of Bob's Barbershop. Hey, Mike. Good. Green is in, but red's in much better shape now. Put it right to the corner, Nick. Beautiful. Yeah, that's fine. Tough to see through the fence, but that's about eight inches away. I think so. 
Yeah, yes. that's green. Hit his ball. Just sit on his ball. Push his ball in. Why red has no more balls? Man, it's ours, but you do what you have to do like I do. Very good. All right, so that makes it 12 to 8. 12 to 8 in favor of Bob's barber shop. Really good shot there. Twelve eight. Extreme Bocci's making a bit of a comeback here. Game's at a fourteen points. Good points, putting pressure on to see what Joe can do. Good shot. Good shot. All right, here comes Jeff. here on the backboard. Two green, two red. The green is in. Red's in second. Another good point. Good job, Nick. Each left. Green is in. Another corner shot here. I'm going to change my location. Makes it one red. But green has the last ball. Ball. Red is in for one right now. Score is 12 to 8 in favor of red. That's Lockport or Bob's Barber Show is red.
comes the ball. Oh, it might be two, might be two reds now. It's definitely one red for sure. It might be two. finish there against a really good extreme bocce club team from Toronto. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to take a team picture here and uh, we'll do some live streaming a little bit later. I think the ladies Lockport bocce club number one ladies team is going to be the next stream around 12 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Thank you. <laughs>